How are you? Yeah. Before I start today, I want to say something that I made at the airport yesterday. As we just landed after checking out, we, we went for dinner at one of the malls. I think it's Asian Mall. You know, as I was we in line serving food, I met a guy who came to say hi. And then I asked him, I was putting on a, an iPhone t-shirt. I asked him, do you know this company? He told me no. I said, it's an embarrassment. <laughs> How can you be in Philippines and you not know iPhone and we're from Africa and we know iPhone? That's the story I wanted to share with you here before I thank our president and CEO, Mr. Toman Tan, for this opportunity. <laughs> Join me, please. I will request you, if you don't mind, let's all stand up and give a round of applause to our president and CEO, Mr. Toman Tan, for this opportunity. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. For sure, that's one of the reasons, we, together with my team from Africa, why we came here. We know there is a kickoff event tomorrow. Yes, it's a reason. But I'll be honest to you, the reason why we came here, we said we should come to the Philippines to thank the president. You know, many times, I'll tell you the truth, many times when you live with a, a king or something, you will never know the value. But for us in Africa, we've decided to come here and tell you and share the good news about iPhone. Yeah. iPhone is one of the biggest and good companies, not because of the name, but because of the products, because of the leadership, because of the management, and of course, because of the compensation plan. I will say this to you, ladies and gentlemen, you are lucky. Whoever is in this room today is very lucky. Count yourself very lucky. Yeah. And by show of hands, let me see who is in this room and is not yet a member, please. I beg, by show of hands, please. Who is not a member here? Who is in this room? Let me, by show of hands. Who, who has not yet joined? Okay, that's very good. Last, about, uh, about a year or so, I had the privilege to meet the Million Dollar Club members in Dubai. Today, as I was in the office on third floor, I met okay, some of them. And I also met, of course, our 001, Top and uh, Zach Ropez. I will tell you one thing. I learned about the Million Dollar Club members. That's the lifestyle. And what does this teach us, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, by the way, do I need an interpreter? Are you getting me clearly? Yeah. Wow, thank you very much. Yeah. One thing I learned when I, a week I spent with a group in Dubai was that we need to work. And today, I'm informing you, and I'm informing Sartoman, that as Africa, we have decided to do IFAN. And nothing is going to stop us, I tell you this today. Nothing is going to stop Africa. By the way, if it's competition, just know it has started. The good thing about iPhone is that the money will never get finished. Whether from Africa, from Europe, or from or whatever here in Asia, I can tell you, as long as you follow the system, you will make the money. And we are here to tell you that Africa is ready for that. Uh, I'll tell you also this story. About three years ago, I came here alone. I was looking for this opportunity. Imagine, 16 hours, we have to fly. Okay? 16 hours. Maybe some of you need about an hour or so to get here. True or not true? Yeah. It took us, or it has taken us, 16 hours to get here. So three years ago, when I was here, after discussing with uh, our president, Sato Mantan, of course he was very hesitant. I believe he thought there was no money in Africa or there was no need for iPhone in Africa. But I'll tell you, 
the good man he is, he listened to me. Today, three years later, I'm not here alone, but we are six people. And among our delegation today, we have someone who has just become a team leader. I, I think last week. And I will tell you again, when we started IFAN in Africa, it was in 2020, in January is when I was here. But I tell you, by March, the world was closed. True or not true? The pandemic, right? Now, it's here that I want to tell you two habits I will tell you about we should learn, two habits we should learn about an ego. Do you know an ego? Do you know that bird called an ego? You should have vision. Okay? And you should be also willing to walk alone if need be. We have done this in Africa. Through the hardships, okay? Even after the pandemic, you know, the world closed all over. We said we will not close the African iPhone office. <laughs> not only do we not close, but we have grown from one office to five offices in Africa now. <laughs> and I will tell you also this. With God's grace, with the support that we are getting from, of course, our uplines, but most importantly, the support that we get from our president, I can assure you, watch this space. Next year, I can tell you, God willing, in January, we are six people today. We should be more than 30 members from Africa next year. That I can assure you. And what does that mean? Of course, it means with 30 people, we will have started making millions of money in Africa, I tell you that. We are very much excited because this is a rare opportunity we want to find. Unless, I'll tell you ladies and gentlemen, unless you know you are born from a family where everything you found was there. But I bet if I would ask anybody in this room, how many of you were born from a family where they have a building like this in their family? Maybe, possibly none. True or not true? What does this mean, ladies and gentlemen? It means that if you want to change your life, if you want success, you never got it from your parents. Never. And never share this and repeat. Don't blame your parents because maybe they never left a building for you. If they are dead or if they are alive, they have not uh, uh, built up a building like this. Don't blame them. You are the one to blame if you cannot change your life, I tell you, ladies and gentlemen. But the good news is, it would have been so hard, it would have been so difficult for you, or for me still, because I also belong in that family, by the way. <laughs> Even me, we don't have a building like this, like my dad left for me. But I tell you, life has started from me. Okay? And I can assure you, ladies and gentlemen, you can change your life because the system is here. We are tested. Why wouldn't you now change your life? So the two habits I talked about of an ego, okay, you should have a vision. Repeat after me. Vision. vision. You should have a vision. Because when you have a vision, ladies and gentlemen, then you know where you are going. True or not true? But you know, if you have nothing, if you have no dream, okay, if you have no inspiration, then of course you'll keep on complaining. Okay? And I also want to tell you <laughs> that it's not easy. Let no one tell you that life is not easy. Not actually not network marketing that people want to claim. But life generally is not easy. And the good news is life is not supposed to be easy. Do you understand that? We as human beings on this planet, we are born to make sure that we solve problems. Do you understand that? Now just imagine for instance, if whoever, whether a man or a, a lady, did not invent a plane. Would I be here before you today? 
How long would it have taken me to come here? So you see, because there was that problem, there was that challenge that a person needed to move from point one to point B. Someone had to think and say, how can we move? Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's very easy. I wonder why actually people think one should fail to change their lives. Okay? It's about vision. Okay? And like I've said, the second habit, you should be willing, ladies and gentlemen, to walk alone. Because like I've said, it's not easy. People you might think will come and join your team. They will never. They will disappoint you. By the way, even your own siblings, you'll tell them, hey, an opportunity. They will say no. But let me ask you, ladies and gentlemen here, who knows your challenges other than you? Who does? Is it your father? Is it your sister? Is it your kid? Or it's you that knows the problem? So if it's you, whose responsibility is it to solve that problem? <laughs> it's you, right? Let's use the opportunity that Sato Man and the group have provided for us to change our lives, ladies and gentlemen. There is no reason whatsoever why today you should go back home complaining of the challenges that you face every day. Yes, challenges are there. But Sato Man has already provided a solution. What is it you're fearing? And yet every day you have challenges. Tell me. Why, okay, what do you lose if you meet someone and you saw an opportunity and this person says no? Have they taken anything from you? Are the people finished? In the Philippines, ladies and gentlemen, I understand, it could be about 100 million population, right or not? True, right? How many millions have you talked to about i in the Philippines? <laughs> and then you will say, there is no business. Or you will say, actually people despise this business. You talk to 20 people. You talk to 50 people and you say, man, people don't want this business. My friend, don't joke. A hundred million, you talk to 20 people and then you say there's no business. My friend, that's a joke. In Africa, we are about 1.3 billion today in population. Okay? Now I can tell you this for free. If you feel there is no business here in the Philippines. If you feel people are not responding, come to Africa. <laughs> Leave a hundred million here, come to where a billion people are. Ask yourself, why am I standing here and I'm from Africa? It's because I decided to fly like an eagle. I said I'll go my way. Because it's me who knows my issues, who knows my challenges. Do you understand what I'm saying? There should never be any day, ladies and gentlemen, why you should sit down and lament about life. There's no, there should be no, that, pro, that, that uh, challenge again. Imagine. <laughs> imagine all the way from Africa. And we are praising. By the way, we don't even ha we have not made millions of uh, you know, pesos. But you see, we are optimistic. Why? Because the system is tested. Yeah. Zach Lopez drives, I think, uh, what car does Zach Lopez drive, ma'am? Mercedes Benz. What else? What other? Ferrari. Ferrari. Where did he get the money from? Where did he get the money from? Where did Zach Lopez get the money from? Ladies and gentlemen. Where are you? Aren't you an iPhone? Is Zach Lopez a brother to Sato Man? No, are they brothers? They are not blood brothers. Are they blood brothers? Do you think Sato Man is favoring uh, uh, Zach Lopez? It is hard work. My message to you today, work. With me, let's say this, work, work, 
work, work, and make your life better. Is my time up? Is my time up? Must I continue now? Must I continue? <laughs> let's stand up, let's stand up, let's stand up. What message should we give to Sato Man now? No, you can say that in, uh, in the Philippine language. Give him the message. Have a seat, ladies and gentlemen. Have a seat. So, do we still, do we still doubt that we can change our lives? So, you see, an Englishman says, ladies and gentlemen, that life, life is what you make it. Okay? You want to complain? You want to be positive? You want to be negative? It's your problem. <laughs> but I can assure you, ladies and gentlemen, Life is what you make it. With me, let's say, we are going to be positive and we are going to change our life. Together we say that, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be positive. Repeat after me. We are going to be positive. And we are going to change our lives. If you cannot do it for yourself, please do it for me. I have traveled all the way from Africa to come here and tell you, please change your life. I thank you. I want to thank. <laughs> yeah, I, I really thank you. I really thank you very much. Uh, but I would, I would request, if you don't mind, I also take this pressure to introduce the team that I traveled with. Is that okay? Thank you. Is Viola Musinguzi my wife? I work with her. Uh, here is a very powerful lady from Kenya called Princess Diana. Not only is she powerful, but she's 001 in Kenya. Not only that, she's the lady who just became a team builder last week. Here is a lady called Nancy. Now, there's something special about Nancy because I do not talk about Nancy and I don't talk about Paul. This is a couple. I understand you have powerful couples here, right? Watch this couple here. Here with me, is a lady who has been with us for about five months now. She just became an associate. And she won this trip, not by, you know, uh, we don't play games in IFA and we follow the system. She won this trip, fully paid, because she worked for it. 
I want to thank you and I wish all of you the best. May God bless you all. Thank you. Okay, guys, no one will speak Tagalog. Africa! Africa! Thank you very much. Allow me, ladies and gentlemen, I know it's very hard for me, but I will request you, Sato man, please come in front, if you don't mind, sir. <laughs> when we were coming, sir, we thought because one of the reasons we came, we said we want to thank you. So we brought this. I don't know if we should open it or if we should not open it. I don't know. Can we open it? Okay, let's go ahead and open something for a certain man. So we love the product. And we said we should present this to you together with Mam Kim. Thank you very much. Uh, in Uganda, we have, uh, we have uh, a special drink, sir. We decided to bring two bottles for you. Should we open them also? Yes. Okay, let's open them. No, 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 no. Let's be very fast. Huh? Sorry, we're deadening the place. Just, just remove everything. Yeah. What a gene. <laughs> this is a gene from Uganda. Very special, I tell you. We give this to special people. People that we respect. So it is for you, and this please deliver to Mom Kim. Thank you, thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. 